Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sherry. I'm a lifestyle blogger and a vlogger. So today I am at Alta and I am going to be getting my brows done. And I'm going to be at the Benefit Brow Bar. I'm gonna be seeing one of my favorite, favorite people, uh, Taylor, and she is gonna be doing waxing as well as tinting my eyebrows. So she does an awesome, awesome job. I come to her all the time. I highly recommend it. If you haven't been to a Benefit Brow Bar, you've got to try it at least once, especially if you're a skincare junkie. So if you would like to uh, see a behind the scenes on that, then stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are. And here's my Titan. Hello, we're gonna be doing a tint and wax today. Right, let's get you nice and primed with the Vaseline Balm, which is basically just Vaseline. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just basically, um, you know how you don't get any staining around your skin? Yeah. That's basically what it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to place that on there. It's kind of funny because, you know, I, I know you do what you do, and but I've never, like, watched you do it, you know, like, with yeah. a mirror or anything I either, so... I just now had a client yesterday say that she was waiting for her appointment and she was like oh my gosh I've never seen it from like the watching end essentially right. and I'm like yeah so now you're gonna see what I do to you basically because I was actually mixing up the secret sauce, her perfect color. Not normal, because I, I only wash my hair about two times a week as well, so um, that shouldn't have Maximum happened. Maximum three times a week. Yeah, that shouldn't and have happened. Even if you were washing it every day and blow drying it, that's not, you sh that's not normal. That's a defect, that's what I call a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm gonna sculpt around and really perfect your shape and start the time, okay? Okay. Right, so double time. And we're keeping it on for how long? Double time is four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes of pure luxury. Be there we go. <laughs> it's close. So I'm just shaping her brow to basically what we're gonna wax it to and just getting it as close to her brow shape as possible. Fine precision, because I'm OCD. A big old caterpillars. Her capitillers, they're totally trending and they better always stay trending because I'm not going back to thin brows ever again. Yeah. Even if, became, even if it became a trend, I'd be like, no, clients, no, you can't do that. That will happen naturally with age progression. You do not need, you do not need to follow that trend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, love. It's pretty darn perfect. Woo! All right, it's so been process. And now it's seconds before removal time. So we're gonna turn that seconds off. Seconds before removal. All right, let's do this. Look at that beautiful color. <laughs> and what was the mixture again? I can't remember. Your color? Yeah. It's called normal, which is a combination of medium brown and dark brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, what a difference. Look at that cherry. Oh, I know. 
That's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, last time, the very next day, since we've been doing this mixture, I didn't need any pencil whatsoever. Oh yeah, so I just did another girl's and she told me the exact same thing. I'm gonna stop the processing, so just make sure there's no further processing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can get a Kylie lip kit. Why do I need a Kylie lip kit? Is it that girl? Yeah, that girl. That's funny. Love that commentary. That's hilarious. You'll have to tell Caitlin tonight about the video. Yeah, I will. I'll text you and let you know how many, well, I can tell you before I leave how many people have seen it, but it's insane how many people have seen it. That's awesome. Because I feel like people don't really know everything that we do here at Ulta. Like, oh, no, there's so they don't. many people that come in here and they're like, you have a salon in the back? And I'm like, yeah, yeah we have an esthetician, we have a brow bar, we have a full service salon. Like, there's so many things that Ulta offers. All right, so now we're going to get ready to map you for your wax. Look at that tent. That's amazing. It's so pretty on you. Oh, and the angels sang. The <laughs> angels cried out. <laughs> so custom to your face shape, based off where your brow should be starting, arching, and ending. We keeping them nice and full and cleaned up per usual? Yeah. Perfect. That alone feels so good. Does it? Yeah. Good. Well, you know, it's just like, it's massaging your muscle exactly. there. Exactly, exactly. All right, let's do this. All right, love, so take a peek. How's that thickness and shape looking? Good. I'm gonna clean up between these two lines here. Any Oops. of this growth above here, all of this under here, any of this above here, and all those little guys under there. Yep. Good? Yep. Wonderful. All right, let's get started. Yeah. Let's get started. And so the waxing begins. <laughs> I'm going to start on your right hand side, so just keep your eyes closed. Right side. So just so. Yep, your right hand side. Mm -hmm. How's that type of feeling? Good. Good. Eyes closed, raise your brow. Perfect. Breathe in. Perfect. Oh, that feels so good. Sweet relief. It's crazy, it does. It feels so good when that, it's like cleanliness. Yes. 
That's exactly what people say. They're like, I feel like a new woman. Or man. Yeah. I do them all. All the brows. Is the tempo okay? Yep. Good. Breathe in. <gasps> Magic. So did you have to go to benefit school to learn the benefit way? So I, so to work for benefit, you either have to be a esthetician or a licensed cosmetologist. Right. I got my cosmetology license and then you go to BBU, Benefit Babe University, oh, and okay. they teach you um, how to map, which is what I did right. to your brows, Right. which shows where your brow should be starting based off your face shape. It's all custom. Right. And that's kind of where you learn, you know, the benefit way. You learn gotcha. about the ABCs and all the things about benefit. And that's it. Oh, God, that feels so good. <laughs> it's amazing how much just baby hairs. All um, the little blonde ones everywhere. Yeah. That tweezing just can't always get. Right. It's just refreshing feeling. I need to do, try that like with my face. Mm -hmm. Do you all do that too? Exactly what? Like, like your cheeks, Facial like right boxing? now. Uh -huh. Yes, so we do brows, we do lip, we do chin, and we do sides. Okay, sides. Mm -hmm. So sides is basically here. Right, right. Sideburns. Sometimes people get a little bit on the cheek area. Right. Yes. It really helps with your foundation and stuff. Oh yeah, because girls who have, you know, a lot of blonde peach fuzz, the makeup right. won't stick there or it can create like a shadow. Yeah. So when you remove that, the makeup adheres so much better. All right, we're gonna do your middle. I mean, I try to do that with, um, you know, like the, what are they called? The little razor things that- Oh, um, the derma, is it derma cleaning? Derma, um, where you shave off the baby hairs? With yeah. That little razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to help and, too. But it's funny when you spritz your face with setting spray, that's when you can see what you've missed. Oh, because you it catches the little hairs. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. I, you know, if you spritz your face enough, you right. know, to where it's like semi wet again, and then I take a sponge and like push it into my face, yeah. you know, the setting spray. But it's kind of funny that, um, yeah, so it you always, can see what you miss, but that thing always made me nervous personally, and I've never done it because um, I've I've always thought that like putting a razor to your face would make it come back thicker. Essentially, right. it doesn't. But it doesn't. Everyone that I've talked to said that it doesn't do that. Yeah. so that's no, pretty it does cool. Not. Look at the difference of the one so far waxed yep. compared to the other. Wow. All right, moving on to the other side. Is this in your way? No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry she Berries. Me, she Shh. You're not supposed to tell. I don't want to get kicked out in the middle of my waxing. <laughs> and there's my other bill. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. We miss you. Codeth made an so appearance. Much. Breathe in. Breathe in. Really? I always say it. It's such a <laughs> habit. It is. It gets you through it. You don't give them time to breathe. <laughs> Literally, I say that, and some people will do it like five seconds after, and I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> Cody is hilarious. I love Cody. He made his appearance. Love it. What do you mean? 
It wouldn't be a, a video without a coat of oh, appearance. Right, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, three managers here today. What is up? It's a Saturday. Breathe in. Did you breathe in that uh, time? No. <laughs> So many people were like, I don't even need to breathe in. And I'm like, okay, well, I stayed out of habit, just so you know. within about a day or two. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some aloe, okay? Yeah. Aloe Kulala. That feels so good. Then we're gonna do a nice, cool compress. It's kind of my own thing, but all the guests love it. It feels so soothing on the skin. It cools down the skin, closes off the pore, and it's just a magical experience. How's that feeling, Sherry? It feels good. And that's just straight aloe? Mm-hmm. Yep. Aloe is so good for the skin. Yeah, it really is. So this is a cool compress from water from the lakes of Minnetonka. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> this is super soothing and it just really closes off the pore and cools down the skin and it's just relaxing. How's that feeling, Sherry? Yeah, it feels awesome. Good. told me you're coming in, I would have gotten my nails redone. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's funny. Let that sit on there for a few seconds. <laughs> would you like concealer and fill? Sure. Perfect. I'm gonna use our new brow styler product on you. It is incredible. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it every single day. Is this their, their new concealer? No, no, no. no. Um, this is their new brow product that they, that we just came out with. Oh, okay. But I will use the new concealer on you. Have you tried the new concealer? No, not on my eyes or not on my skin. Um, I have seen it. Oh. It's amazing. Look at that nice. Does this make it spray, spray. I love Did, What's the new brow product? So this is the new brow product. It's called Brow Styler. So basically, it's a combination of the Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Goof Proof in terms of the tip of this because it's the length of the Goof Proof, but it's a sharp, straight edge so you can create really clean lines, which I love about it. And then in the bottom, there's this precision applicator for powder that you can apply to fill with and you can create three looks with it. It's called one plus one equals three. So you can do one look with just the pencil, one look with just the powder for very natural look or combine the two like I like to do. So that's your three looks there. And it's 18 hour wear, that's waterproof. So top notch. I saw that. So we just removed the cool compress. We're just drying the skin, prepping it to put the concealer on and then fill them in. I think that you're probably the shade six because you're pretty dark. Really? And oh, you mean, yeah. Like okay. your skin. Yeah. And I'm that around that color. So we're going to conceal with that. And then we will fill them in. Um, I'm 
A little bit of this goes a long way. It feels really good. It doesn't feel thick. Yes, know? it's not cakey. Right. So that's why it's called cakeless because it doesn't crease, it covers, but it doesn't get cakey. Wow. What do you think of that color? I like it. And that's a six. Wow. And it's still like highlighting on you. That's good. All right, time to use the new brow styler. So you're using, are you using the shade three currently? Two or 2.5. Two or 2.5? Yeah. That's what you fill with? That's what I was, yeah. I mean, without okay. tint, yeah. So let's try, we can do the two on you. Okay. What number had you chosen before? I had just had the three. Oh, okay. I have in mind, and just because of your tint. Right. But two can get dark as well. It's, it's buildable, which is what's okay. nice too. So let's start. I like to start by lining the brow with the pencil first, lining the top and the bottom, then filling with the powder. Okay. So I'll start on this side. <laughs> So I'm just gonna line the bottom and I line the top. And then you fill with the powder. And voila, that was like 20 seconds. Wow. And then I always like to take a spoolie just to blend the front out yeah. and the edges, make sure everything's nice and crisp and pristine. Voila. Yeah. What a difference. Do you see how quick and fast that was? Yeah, it I'm really excited. was. Now time for the next one. Okay. Can you do it without? Can you hold it with that hand? Is that yep. good? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. All right, now it's time to fill. smooth and blend everything out. I love it. She always does a great job. Thank you. Love seeing Sherry. <laughs> love helping all the people with Frederick. Yes. So I just came out of Ulta and this is my outcome. If you can see a little bit in different lighting, um, we do them a little bit darker than what the norm is. Um, I think she said this was like a four. Uh, my pencil color is normally like a two or 2.5. 
Um, so they are darker than what my hair color is because they will lighten up over the next couple weeks. Um, and I will show you a difference between today and actually tomorrow as well. Here it is, insert video. <laughs> Hi, so I just wanted to update you. So this is the next day after I got my brows tinted and last night was just a gentle wash of all of my foundation and stuff off, um, which included my eyebrows. So it took all of the brow powder and filler and concealer and stuff that she had around it to clean it up, uh, all of that off. And then this morning was just a gentle cleanser. So as you can see, they're not as bold as they were last night, <laughs> obviously, but um, they're still dark and they pretty much match my hair right now. So um, even though, you know, the day after is always much better, um, but yeah, you may just have to uh, put a little bit of filler in with a pencil but not very much. And that's the whole purpose of this. So I highly recommend the Benefit Brow Bar. If you have not been to one, go to one. I, again, I cannot recommend them enough. And if you're in the Frederick area, please check out Taylor. Um, I will link the uh, address of where she is at what location if you're in the Frederick area. And that is it. Okay, I also wanted to show you uh, day three. This is right out of the shower. Um, I just blow dried my hair. Um, but yeah, as you can see, and this is in brighter lights, so you can actually see the difference. But I love them. So I wanted to give you um, another look at my brows um, for evening time. This was after a full day of work uh, and all I have on is foundation, uh, some contour, some bronzer, and a little bit of eyeliner and that is it. But look at those brows, look at those mean things. <laughs> so see, it's just, it's completely different than uh, it was yesterday. Um. So if you're in the Frederick area, I highly recommend Taylor. Uh, check her out. She's at the Guilford Drive uh, Ulta. And um, make sure that you book with her. I just love her to pieces. She does an awesome, awesome job. Um, I've been going to her for a couple years now. And um, she's just amazing. So check her out if you're in this area. And... Uh, yeah, so love and life once again and brows are on fleek. So thanks again so much for watching I appreciate you all make sure you like and comment below. Have you been to a benefit brow bar? And if so, what were your results and I will catch you on the next one God bless